Good morning, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's September the 16th and we're looking at Philippians and chapter 1. And my password is taken from verse 7. Um, let me read the, the verses before. He says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, <clears throat> always in every prayer of mine for you all, making request with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing that, which he, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Verse 7, Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, insomuch as both in my bonds and in the defence and confirmation of the gospel ye all are partakers of my grace, for God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so my password then is taken from verse 7 and from verse, um, from verse 8. The, the, the phrase in verse 7 is this. He says, I have you in my heart. And in verse eight, in verse eight, an even more strange expression, he says, "God is my record, how greatly I long after you all, in the bowels of Jesus Christ." <coughs> in the ancient world, they thought of the bowels and they thought of the heart in a different way to the way in which we think of it ourselves today. Today, when we think of the heart, we think of the seat of the affections. The heart is where you love. And the bowels is where you <laughs> is where you eat your food and process the food, but in the ancient world, they didn't think like that. The heart was the seat of the mind; it was the centre of the whole being. It's where people thought. So when Paul says, "I have you in my heart," it means that you are always on my mind. I'm always thinking about you. I'm always praying for you. <clears throat> and that's a wonderful thing for somebody to always think of you, to always have you on their mind. But then in the next verse he goes even deeper still. He says, um, God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. Now the bowels in ancient times was considered to be the seat of of the affections. So yes, he has them on his mind, but he has he has them also in the bowels of Jesus Christ. This is the seat of the affections, the seat of love. He says, not only do I have you on my mind, but I love you in the love of Jesus Christ. Now I would love to have lived in those days and have this dear man of God have me on his mind and I would love to have lived in those days and for him to tell me how much he loves me in the bowels of Jesus Christ what a great man a man of prayer a man of love the love of Christ filled his heart for these Philippian believers may we have a similar experience may we have people on our mind and may we love them even as Christ loves us. That's my thought for today. Look forward to speaking to you all again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.